Yeah, hi. I, I'm founder of a company called Grishin Robotics. We are a like venture capital firm uh, which invests in consumer robotics companies. We founded two years ago. And uh, for, for current moment, we invest, I think, at, at, uh, nine companies. Most of them are in the United States, in Silicon Valley, in Boston, Colorado, LA. And we're really pretty exciting that, you know, people talk about robots for many, many years. But I think right now there is time when it's converting from science fiction to real business. And I'm pretty much excited. I believe that we are like at a very, very important moment when we just uh, like completely change the way how people do business around robotics. First of all, I, I think that definitely people talk about robotics for many years, but nobody see really like useful robots too much, right? And it's changed several years ago when you see Roomba coming to the market, and I think uh, and many other companies. But I think key 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 idea what's happening right now is that robotics pretty much repeat the same situation what we have in computer industry 30 years ago. Just let, let's 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 fly to 1979. At that time, you have big companies like, which uh, and, and big computers called mainframes, and access to these companies was only available by government, but banks, but military. And suddenly, price of computers drop hundred times, and many many engineers and entrepreneurs get access to computers. A new industry starts, right? We have companies like um, Microsoft, Apple, Adobe, Sabase, and many, many others, which just bring absolutely new type of products to the market. I think the similar situation happening with robotics. For the last 30 years, it was like big improvements in industrial robotics, which was available for really big corporations. But for the last several years, price for components of robots dropped significantly. And I think one of the reasons is smartphones. For example, let's assume you want to buy HD camera for your robot. Ten years ago, this camera cost ten thousand dollars. Now it costs three dollars, right? So it's fundamentally changed the cost structure of components for robots. The second thing is very important. I think is that 3D printers help to be to do prototyping. Usually, if you build robots, quick iterations, quick prototyping are very important, and 3D printers are help a lot. And I think. Last important thing which have happened for the last several years is crowdfunding. Now we have companies like Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and many others, which really help to fund really interesting consumer products. And each, and this is allow small startups to bring new exciting products. So I definitely think that we are right now in the point where consumer robotics just converting from some kind of dreams to real, real products. And now you can start about this company having three, five engineers, which was not possible 10 years ago. You know, I, I can say that, first of all, as I, as I already said, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the companies who solve particular problem for consumer. It's, it's, it's very important. Second, I think that robots in consumer device so team should focus on, on, on design of the robots. So nobody will buy ugly robots. Nobody. They should look beautiful and you should like to interact with them. It's, it's super important. And third, I think it's, it's, it's very important to understand that robots, it's not only like design, but it's also service. So it means that you need to think about support, about like this kind of thing. So if you deliver a robot and something broken, how you can fix it in, 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 in distribution. And, and these are also all three important components.